So I'm at a house that I'm working on and the interior doors were installed flush with the floor. So most of them aren't closing right because this is an old house and the floors are uneven. So I'm gonna show you how to shorten the door as fast as possible. Here's my door and catches there, there, and it only gets worse as you go in. It doesn't actually close. So I'm gonna shorten that. First thing you do, pop the door off its hinges. All right, so now that I got the door off the hinges, next thing I'm gonna do is measure from the top of the jam to the bottom and there's about an eighth of an inch gap at the top of the door when it's mounted. So I'm gonna add an eighth of an inch onto my measurement so that it's a proper height off the ground and the reveal matches. Now, when you're working against an unfinished floor, like this one, you're going to want to do two inches off the unfinished floor. So we're essentially gonna measure the door jam and then subtract two and an eighth inches from that and that's how much we're gonna cut off of the door itself. So from the unfinished floor to the top of the door jam, it is 80 and 3 eighths. So I'm gonna subtract two and an eighth from it. And that gives me 78 and one quarter. So now what I'm gonna do is measure from the top five by 78 and a quarter, make my mark one here, and then one on the other side of the door. I'm gonna take my level, connect those two lines so I have my line to cut. So now what I'm left with is the bottom piece of this, which has the solid core, and then down in there, if there isn't, it's hollow. So what we're gonna need to do is knock the walls off of this so that we can use this solid core to shove back up in there. So now we're left with just the core and it should slide right in, which it does. So what we're gonna do now is grab some wood glue and put a generous amount. On that side, and then since I don't wanna flip it over and get my hands all gross, I'm just gonna run a bead on the inside also. Slide it in, and she fits. Take a towel, get the squeeze out. So, since where we're at right now with that, I don't have clamps or anything, so I'm just gonna take a nail gun and drive a couple nails into it on each side. And if I did my job right, the door should be hovering two inches above the ground. Let's find out. Very nice. Another thing you're gonna wanna do is shove some caulk in those nail holes if you're doing it the same way that I did, but if you're using clamps, you don't have to worry about doing that. 
So anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more, make sure you hit subscribe and like this video. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you're working on and we'll catch you in the next one.